All right, guys, if you could just follow me from my dining room to my kitchen bathroom, that's where we'd be working with. Oh, snap, why is that in there? All right, it looks like when I close the door, <laughs> the instructions flew into the toilet. So I cleaned out my toilet. I don't want to be end up on, you know, YouTube's cringe compilation. All right, so the first step is to remove the toilet seat cover. You have screws that lies underneath that you unscrew to remove the cover. So it looks like because my toilet is American Standard, I have to remove this decorative cap because it was almost impossible to unscrew it from the bottom. All right, I have one side removed and this is how the setup was. Cut both sides removed. I'm going to clean that up. Next up is to turn off the power supply and I'm going to rotate it to the right clockwise. Now I'm going to flush the toilet, hold it until it fully drains. <laughs> fully drained. Now I'm going to disconnect the main water source from the toilet. You might need a towel in case uh, water drips down or a bowl. Now I'm going to apply the plumber's tape and surround all of that screw to seal it. That plumber's tape is pretty hard to use. That's the best that I can do right now. Um, looks like the washer is already in the T-valve. This is just an additional one. Now I'm going to screw this onto here. And now I'm reconnecting the water supply source. Now I'm going to place the element onto the toilet. And also insert the mounting brackets. Next step is to reinstall the toilet cover. Make sure the holes are lined up. Next step is to connect the bidet hose, which goes underneath here. The screw unit to the T valve. The finished assembly should look like this. And now I'm going to turn on the water source water supply. Yep, nothing's leaking. Fill in the tank. Okay guys, it's time to test out the bidet. Let me stand over here so I don't spray myself. Whoa! Whoa! That's the maximum. <laughs> 